During the 60s, offshore radio not only was made from radio ships anchored around the Thames estuary. Also, former anti-aircraft and marine defence towers, built by the British authorities during World War II, were used by commercial radio organisations. Partly inside and partly outside national waters, the radio stations like Tower Radio, Radio Invicta, KING, BBMS and Radio 390 took their own listening public. During the summer of 1992, the Invicta Radio Group from Wistable in Kent organized a trip for their listeners to show that many of the former radio towers are still in the Thames estuary, although not in the condition they were before. Next to the video pictures, you will be seeing exclusive photographs of the past, including the building of the forts, the family Bates and their principality of Zealand, and even one of the towers being destructed by the authorities. In no way we had plans to let you hear all the stations, but would like you to enjoy to one station, the sound of Radio City, the Tower of Power, which had all kinds of enjoyable programs through the years. Brothers, as we look forward to 1967, we ask ourselves, what lies ahead for us? Yes, mate, what does lie ahead for us? Three exciting prospects. Number one, New Year's Eve. Radio City broadcasts around the clock into 1967. It's party night on Radio City, midnight to six o'clock Sunday morning. Number two, New Year's Day, 11 Sunday morning through two in the afternoon, Radio City will present three hours of the top pops of 1966. And number three prospect at 2 p.m., the worst of Auntie Mabel, the funniest incidents and sketches from Commercial Radio's most outspoken program. Well, that takes care of New Year's Day, but with a grin, I ask, what about the rest of the year? Well, I, I don't know, really. I, I don't know. I just don't know. No doubt things will get worse, but let's go down smiling. Swing into 1967, transistorized on 299. Radio City sounds good. <laughs> Radio City, it sounds fine on 299. 299. Your tower of power. Wow. It's Radio City. Ray from the grave is the big sound of Britain's first and only Tower of Power. <laughs> That's Radio City. <laughs> Home of the hit sounds. <laughs> 18 swinging hours a day. <laughs> Why don't you catch up with the station that set the trend? Emotion, silencing gloss. Get it from the factory and half the cost. Put it on your paintbrush, then it can be seen. No other paint is half as good as silencing. This is the sound you'll hear every Sunday morning at 9.30 when Radio City presents the Basildon Request Show. The Basildon Request Show between 9.30 and 11 is always packed with local news, views and requests. So if you live in Basildon, your show takes the air at 9.30 this and every Sunday on Radio City. The Basildon Request Show. The Voice of Prophecy Daily Broadcast at 7.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. recommends Take His Word a modern correspondence course for home Bible study. Free lessons in 69 languages, including Braille, from The Voice of Prophecy, 123 Regent Street, London W1. This is Lemmy. Hello, this is Harry. Hello, this is Sigurd. Hello, this is Mugsy. And uh, together we make a group known to you as the Rockin' Vickers. 
and we're going to ask our favorite DJ on Radio City now. We're going to ask him to play the record, so we hope you like it. At last, Independent Radio has its own paper, Radio News. Radio News will give exclusive information about programs and personalities on this and every independent radio station. Radio News will be launched as a free supplement in London Weekly Advertiser on January 11th. So get London Weekly Advertiser, famous for holidays, flats, houses and jobs, and in it you'll find your very own Radio News. Radio News is great news for all independent radio listeners. This can music echo. This can music echo. Hello. Hello. I'm Paul and the Tremolos with someone, someone. This is Radio Such. Yes, Radio Such, Britain's first teenage radio station, coming to you from the abandoned gun towers on shivering sands. And now we continue with Dion Warwick and Walk On By. I'm very sorry about that. We're having a bit of trouble with our, uh, one of our turntables, but uh, we'll continue with um, uh, a number by the Four Pennies, Juliet. Four Pennies with Juliet. And this is Radio Such. Yes, Radio Such, Britain's first teenage radio station. Coming to you from the abandoned gun towers on Shivering Sands. And we continue now with Millie and my boy Lollipop. <laughs> My boy Lollipop, coming to you from Radio Such. Yes, Radio Such, Britain's first teenage radio. And here we go again with the Hollies, and here I go again. Radio Studio on 299, the time is a few seconds after 7 o'clock. <laughs> This is Radio City News on the on, your voice for the 7 o'clock news, Paul Kramer. The head of Radio City, Mrs. Dorothy Calvert, was fined 100 pounds today in South End Magistrates Court. Mrs. Calvert has said that she will not appeal, and Radio City will continue broadcasting until 12 o'clock this evening. Between 11 and 12 o'clock, Radio City will be presenting a special program. Auntie Mabel, figurehead of the Auntie Mabel Hour, rated by the Record Mirror as one of last year's top radio shows. Here then we have some excerpts from the Auntie Mabel series, broadcast live and completely ad lib. If I open this bridge, and me all who sailed in her, no, no, I open here by this bridge, and, oh no, no, this bridge I open, no, oh no, wouldn't be right, this bridge I officially open, <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen, this bridge is opened by me. No. By the right royal me. No. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I I mean, if you had four minutes to go, if you had the four-minute warning, what would you do, huh? <laughs> if would, you, would if you? you were told the world would end in four minutes, what would you do? Oh, I don't know. It's impossible. I Well, I'd, I'd really let loose, I tell you that much. Or probably probably or <laughs> chuck a brick through the local bank window or something. You devil. I'd do something really devilish. I'd put a banana in the fridge or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd throw some chewing gum on the road and trap a few mini miners. Or oh, I'm a devil. <laughs> Following the progressive policy of our government, many people felt in high circles that the government was in need of lots of new ideas to get the country moving. Consequently, a government new ideas committee was formed and taking an interest in politics on the Artie Mabel Hour, we took the government, or shall I say the Artie Mabel, outside broadcast unit, along to a sitting of the Government New Ideas Committee. <laughs> you should have gone down the snake, not up the ladder, you twit. 
teeth off there. Any any cakes you have left in the trolley there? <laughs> Anybody got the sugar? <clears throat> I say, I say, Captain. Seriously, I've got an idea. A skipping idea. I've got an idea! An idea? Blimey, what's wrong with this fellow? He's a bit progressive, isn't he? No, no, let's all go out for a drink. What? Well, I think they're open now. Yeah. It's a darn good idea, let's... <laughs> Come on, then! Oh, it's all there! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I suppose I'd better get about cleaning up the old place then. What about a word thing to... Don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. Oh, my mum. That's my mum over there. My mum is very sweet and very good-natured and um, she doesn't very often lose her temper and uh, she works very hard around the house. And, oh, don't hit me! Oh, that's my mum. Yes, modern mums on the move serve the kiddies with detergent soup. It keeps them clean inside. While your mother sleeps in bed, uh, carry water to the shed. Add the molten barley corn, simmer and distill till morn. Store it in an earthen jar. Call your brother and your pa. Ignore what neighbors may be thinking. Lock the door and get all stinking. Our programs now continue with an absorbing talk by Lord Brotherington Crud, O-B-E-S-E-E, -E -E, and Bar. I don't mind the if I The title of Lord Brotherington's talk will be the glorious days of British sun in the sky over Puna. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the program, Lord uh, Blithering uh, Thing, Crud, O-B-E-S-double-E. -E. Uh, very much indeed, uh, Mr. Crud, it is marvelous to be uh, speaking to you. <laughs> I believe, uh, Lord Crud, that you are going to enlighten some of our already enlightened listeners oh, about well. the days of uh, British rule in India. Mm, yeah, yes. of course. When I first went to India, it was back in the 1920s or thereabouts, in those days, there was a certain atmosphere of things hanging all over uh, the Khyber Pass there. Mm. Um, here, the general said, he said, uh, to have a whiskey, and I said, I don't mind if I do. <coughs> Many old soldiers, Lord Crud, have come back from India, enthusing about the majesty and beauty of the Indian sun setting in the in Indian sky. Yes. Well, this, of course, comes from the novel of the same name by Gertrude Thing, who once wrote, uh, India is a jewel in the ocean unrivaled by things. Yes, uh, right. Things. A very noteworthy quotation and one, I think, worthy of note. Lord, uh, worthy. Lord, um, <coughs> Litherington Thing, uh, Crud. Crud. Did you ever get up the Punjab? Uh, no, sir. It wasn't the season. I think it all cut. So, hey, you have a nasty cough. Did you, did you pick that up in India? I picked many things up in India, madam, including my wife. I uh, the present lord, um, lady, uh, what's her name, Crud. A very fine lady, I'm a sure. A very fine idiot, she is, sir. She ties me crazy. Well, just maybe one more question, Lord <laughs> Crud, for our listeners Blithering this evening. Withering fool. Maybe I can ask you something about um, Calcutta. Calcutta, sir. Yes. Uh, did it impress you? Uh, well, it didn't impress me uh, immensely because I've never been there, sir. Thank you. Well, many <coughs> thanks to you, Lord Blitherington Crud, for being with us and taking up so much, I'm sure, of your very valuable time. Valuable times that I've got nothing to do. I'm Blitherington bored to death, sir. <laughs> taxes, well, taxes, and all these... Thank you, Lord Crud. <laughs> you collect your check at the door. See the oh, nice, do I? Oh, good see night, the nice chap in the peaked cap. Lovely, lovely. Right now, just on the off chance that we have any listeners at all, There'll be a five-second pause to make them think we're off the air and cause them to either switch off or smash the radio to pieces with a cast-iron statue of Queen Victoria. Five-second pause. You are listening to Voice of Worksop News. Whoopee! Worksop's most comprehensive news service. London. There's the echo on. One, two, three. The Beatles, <coughs> sorry, wrong accent. <coughs> Good evening, Radio Works Up News. <coughs> the Beatles have got a new sound. 
The news agency reports that it is now chirp, chirp, chirp. By gun. <laughs> A spokesman for a religious disorder group who booted a policeman to death in the streets of this city last night told a news agency we did it just for kicks. You are listening to Voice of Works of News, works of most comprehensive news service. Washington. What? Oh, Washington. We've done that one. Bon. <laughs> the action of the leader of the ultra-right wing CBDU party in inviting members of the East German CP. You are listening to Voice of Works Up News. I haven't finished yet. Inviting members of the East German party to meet him in a public toilet in East Berlin is seen here among reactionaries, reactionaries and subversives alike as a master stroke, if a little bit kinky. You are listening to Swaying Works Up Swing Wing Pop. Swing, working swing radio pop. Hey, come on. Works Up's most comprehensive new swing. New York. The New York Transportation Council announced today that it was now perfectly safe to travel on the city's subways. This was providing that traveling was done between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. and provided the traveler did so wearing a bulletproof vest and accompanied by 12 armed guards. Instant news yeah. from Swaying Radio Workshop. <laughs> The well-known Transylvanian pants dancer, Serge Suit, has won his suit against the opera and billiards house trustees. It's a blue Serge suit. <laughs> Your final item on swaying radio works up news. Alaska. Alaska, if you won't. Mr. J. Frost and Miss Ice Cube are to represent Alaska at the World Frozen Popsicle Convention in Chile this year. You have been listening to Voice of Works Up News, Europe's most swinging news service. And now here's the weather. A fine day is forecast for tomorrow. Good night. And like the man said, that's what she said, Chris Andrews. <laughs> And it's almost uh, news time at um, five o'clock. Let's have a little bit of Bert Kempert music. And before the newsman treads on my head, it's time to go time on the Discomania show. Your DJ, Phil Jace, signing off for now, hoping you enjoy the show. And of course, hoping you'll join me right here at uh, 4.30 on the 299 tomorrow. Till then, bye for now. Don't forget the 5 by 4 show immediately after the news. Bye. <laughs> to award its listeners the MBE, Much Better Entertainment. And this is the Alan Clark Show. Two shirts, radio city t-shirts, all the gear, mate. Five, you get one for yourself. I'd love one for Christmas. City t-shirts, yeah. Yes, all three can have a Radio City t-shirt this Christmas just for that small price of 12 and 6, including postage and packaging. These fab pieces of gear include the Radio City Tower of Power sign on the front. So don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, just sit along 12 and 6 today to T-shirts, Radio City, 7 Denmark Street, London, WC2. <laughs> It's me, Marjorie Poopdeck, and I've just dropped in from the Auntie Mabel Hour to give you all the latest hotline gossip from the Tower of Power. First of all, Tom Edwards actually sent himself to sleep on late date. Ian McRae lost his voice shouting yoo-hoo to a passing table barge. Alan Clark has been invited to stand as chairman of the Squeaky Toy Manufacturers Association. Eric Martin was arrested for being found drunk in a gutter outside a Whitstable pub. Jeff Woods and RWB have started a kangaroo reserve on the South Downs, while Paul Kramer and Adrian Love have been asked to start a rival British vocal group to Sonny and Cher. But one thing has remained constant in spite of all these developments, all the Tower of Power boys have been wearing their Radio City t-shirts. 
and so should you. They're only 12 and 6, from number 7 Denmark Street, London, WC2. The price? 12 and 6. Why don't you get your Radio City T-shirt like all the other boys in the Tower of Power? Small, medium and large, just 12 and 6, from Radio City T-shirts, 7 Denmark Street, London, WC2. Well, that's all the news from me, Marjorie Poopdeck. I'll see you on the Auntie Mabel Hour. Bye for now. To ordinary people, yes. But remember, the dynamic duo always fight crime in Radio City T-shirts. Just 12 and 6 from 7 Denmark Street, London, WC2. Dear Marge, my girlfriend seems to ignore me in all my present outfits. I do try to please her with all the latest fashions, but somehow something seems to be missing. Please help me. What shall I do? Ignored Penge. Dear Ignored Penge, you really shouldn't worry. Your problem is a frequent one and easily solved. I suggest that you get a Radio City T-shirt. This will end all your worries. Three sizes are available, small, medium and large, in the latest in color white. And that design with the Tower of Power symbol is just too much. Why don't you try one? Only 12 and 6 from Radio City, Denmark Street, London, WC2. And if your girlfriend still ignores you, then I think there's something wrong with her and not you. What is 5x4? A Radio City listener knows that 5x4 means Beetle and Stone Request. A Radio City listener knows that 5x4 means fun and lots of it at 5 o'clock every night, Mondays through Saturdays on Radio City. 5x4 means Beetle and Stone Request. 5x4 means fun. See you at 5 tonight. It's a date. Great. Don't be late. Five by Four Show at 5 o'clock tonight on Radio City is Commercial Radio's most listened to program. It's a 30-minute request show featuring the Beatles and the Stones. Hello, everybody. This is Paul. Join in the fun at 5 o'clock every night on Radio City on the 5 by Four Show. 5 by Four means Beatles and Stones. 5 by Four means fun. This will be the usual, obviously. They won't cost much. The Auntie Mabel Hour, Monday through Friday at 7 o'clock, is radio's most avoided program. The Radio City newscast, which is broadcast every hour on the hour, is commercial radio's most up-to-the-minute detailed news. Radio City News reports the facts and the findings first. Included in the newscast is a report on the weather. Hear the news first on Radio City. It happens at 10.45, Monday to Friday on Radio City. It's the Coffee Break Show. 15 smooth minutes packed with requests and a friendly disc jockey to help you along in the morning. So make it a regular date, Monday to Friday, 10.45, for the Radio City Coffee Break Show. Hi there, this is Paul Kramer. If you're out on the highways and the byways, do take care. We want to talk to you, not about you.